Harry Kane has just taken to social media and says this. It was incredible to see the reception from the Spurs fans on Sunday and to read some of the messages of support I've had in the last few weeks. And here it comes, folks. I will be staying at Tottenham this summer and will be 100% focused on helping the team achieve success. Harry Kane stays at Tottenham. Unlike Jack Grealish, who left Villa to go to Manchester City, Harry Kane stays at Tottenham. Trevor, you're taking it. Huge news. Um, I was expecting it. I think when the figures started to be announced, I didn't think. We had this discussion, 125 million, 150 million for Harry Kane. I thought that was stretching it too far for a 28-year-old who's got history with injuries, although his numbers were absolutely superb, the best in the league. Uh, I still had a problem with it. I di it didn't sit well with me. Um, and I think, you know, fair play to Daniel Levy. He's got his player on a three-year contract. He is in charge of the situation. He's asked for astronomical money for Harry Kane and Manchester City are not prepared to go there. So I think the biggest winner out of the whole situation is Daniel Levy. What do you make of it? What kind of job has Levy done here then, Simon? Um, I'm not sure what kind of job he's done. He's done the job that he wanted to do. Well, he's which was achieving them, outcome. hasn't he? And the key component of this statement is I'll be staying at Tottenham Hotspur this summer. That's the key key line in that statement. Now, that doesn't mean that it won't come up again in January. It certainly doesn't mean it won't come up next summer. Has he damaged his reputation? Um, no, I don't think so. I think these are all like chip paper and it goes around in time. So he'll start for Tottenham in the next coming game, score a few goals and it'll all be a thing of the past. But it will most certainly come up again next summer and it will most certainly come up at a very different level with two years left on your contract with three. So right now, the saga, the never-ending campaign, the never-ending speculation has paired away. Who's won? Really and truly, I have to say, if I was if I was Daniel Levy and I could get £125 million for Harry Kane, I might have pushed the envelope to see if I could meet in the middle between 150 and 125 because I couldn't help myself. <laughs> and that's a deal that I would want to keep pushing for. But I would have taken the money and looked at rebuilding Tottenham without necessarily Kane, who I do believe, and I know it's gonna not people are going to like this, I, I believe is a diminishing force. I don't think he's quite the same player. I think the injuries are taking its toll, and of course he'll go out and score a hat trick on Sunday. But <laughs> but I'll take this stance and say, okay, you could say well done. What Tottenham. a game that's going to be and now. You, and and what you've got, what you've got is that the one player that couldn't play hard and fast. And I said this from the outset: he won't play hard and fast. He won't agitate. Yeah. He won't throw his toys out of the plan. He'll test the water a little bit, put everyone up in front, and blame them for the testing <laughs> of the water. But he won't index himself to it because he's got far too much to lose. He's the England captain. He's a brand. In himself. Adds a lot of spice to the game, doesn't it? But, but in all honesty, do you think to a man, to a woman, the Tottenham fan will be like, great news, great no news this lunchtime? You'll get certain Because fans. there was a time, absolutely <clears throat> doubtlessly, there was a time he wanted to join City. He wanted yeah, to be there. Listen, he's da for me, he's damaged his reputation with some of the fans and they'll never forgive him. It doesn't matter if he goes and scoring hat-trick after hat-trick. They will never forgive him for the way that he's... The Why? way that it's come across in the media uh, and the silence as well, because... There's obviously been a problem coming back late from training, at, for training, all the rest of it. Everything that surrounded this, Harry was so quiet for so long and I don't think some of the fans will ever forgive that. I, I, I'm inclined to agree with Trevor on that one. So if you're a season ticket holder at Tottenham and he runs out and you think, oh, there's a guy that wanted to, to go to City. There's Harry. Yeah, but but, all, I mean, come but, back, but all is forgiven. That's, that's not really fair, is it? Because he's entitled to have a career move if he wants to. Yeah. It's about possibly the manner in which it was handled. Exactly. Yeah. But Tottenham said nothing. Harry said nothing. The only thing that I Harry think... Harry didn't say nothing. Harry spoke... Well, sp Harry spoke before the window, before the European Championship, sorry, and said that I would like to move on. There's nothing wrong with someone no. wanting to move on as long as it's fair for everybody. You don't have to give your life and everything no, about but you to No, like you mentioned, Simon, it's about the way he went about it and, yeah. you know, the proper way to do it. If you're desperate to get out of a contract and you're not happy at the football club, is to go in, speak to the manager, say, listen, it's nothing personal. There's my contract. Yep. This is my written statement saying I want to leave yep. the football club. It's as simple as that. I've done it. You know, I've done it at QPR. I'm not ashamed of that. I didn't think the club was matching my ambition. I did it at West Ham. So I think... If he must you, feel if, a little bit, little bit let down by Man City because they're the ones that have that wanted to mark his dance card. They're I, the ones that gave it all I the big... I didn't want about, Man City. Gonna, no, you might not have done, but, but their manager did. And Man City did it themselves. Yeah. And whilst we're all in the same camp, that 100 million, 125, 150, they're all pretty grotesque, mm. right? But the bottom line is, 
is they're the ones that marked his dance card. They're the ones that wanted to sign him, and they haven't been able to achieve something. And he must have gone in the press, right or wrong, stupid or ignorant, and all of that, I think, applied, and felt that this deal was a done deal. Yeah. That City were going to do what it took to get him. Exactly. And Naivety, didn't. really, though. And it didn't happen. Especially when you're dealing with such yeah. a hard ball businessman like absolutely but he's, he has so what happens now when City because economically because... he's cut his nose to spite his face Levy yeah but when you look at okay. it now you look at Manchester City situation just quickly you've got Torres you've got Jesus who can play up front possibly Raheem as well honest, there's it? Ronaldo huh? who we we finished we've, been we've, been on three, we've been on three hours we I'm allowed start, to mention so it now finish. aren't I go on um, Torres Jesus uh, Raheem can play up there is yeah. there going to be yeah. a Ronaldo back in Manchester All I don't know I anymore? don't know. No, Look, Simon, anymore? there's Trevor's train coming. <laughs> Trevor, thank it's you blue. so much, as always. Simon, I'll see you in the morning. It's just a couple of lines on Twitter, but it's a big couple of lines. Harry Kane this lunchtime. It was incredible to see the reception from the Spurs fans on Sunday and to read some of the messages of support I've had in the last few weeks. I will be staying at Tottenham this summer and 100% focused on helping the team achieve success. Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1, on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker, TalkSport.